everyone! My name is Julia and I'm an educator at the Columbia River Maritime Museum. In light of all of these updates about COVID-19, the Education Department has decided to start posting online ed talks to help bring the museum's programming to you. Today's ed talk is going to be about nautical slang in everyday life. The first expression we're going to talk about is showing your true colors, which we take to mean as showing yourself for who you really are. This phrase actually initially stemmed from the opposite term, showing your false colors, which is when ships would sail under flags that weren't their own when they were in unfriendly waters. It was generally acknowledged, and in some places it was actually a legal doctrine, that ships had to show their true colors before firing on another vessel while at sea. We're all hoping for clean bills of health nowadays, and this expression actually stems from the mid-18th century. A clean bill of health was a certificate signed by port authorities confirming that everyone on board the ship was healthy before they left port. If a problem did arise, it must have happened after the ship had already set sail. Knowing someone by the cut of their jib, or knowing someone right from the start, is an expression inspired by the triangular sail on the foremast of a ship. Back in the day, different nationalities would have their jib sails cut in specific ways. So if you saw someone sailing towards you, you could recognize who was coming and base your actions accordingly. The term bottoms up comes from the days of impressment, when the British Navy in particular would kidnap sailors and force them into their service. The Navy would hide coins at the bottom of sailors' mugs, and once they got to the bottom, they would accidentally touch the coins and accept payment on behalf of the Navy. After a while, people started reminding each other that in order to stay on the safe side, they should check the bottoms of their mugs before they started drinking. We know the phrase cut and run to mean to get out of there fast, and that expression is inspired by something called a capstan. A capstan is used on a ship to drop and weigh anchor, but depending on the conditions, this could take hours of hard work to do so. If a ship had to make a quick getaway and didn't have time to weigh anchor, they would just leave it behind. They would cut and run. And last but not least, the word groggy was inspired by Admiral Vernon, who was serving in the British Navy during the 1700s. Admiral Vernon always wore a cloak made out of grogram cloth, and so he was known by his sailors as Old Grog. He also helped to popularize the drink grog, which at that time was mostly rum diluted with water. Drink too much grog, and after a while, sailors would start to feel groggy. Admiral Vernon was such a prominent figure at this time that he's actually the namesake of George Washington's home, Mount Vernon. So that's all for me about nautical slang and everyday life. We hope to see you again for the Columbia River Maritime Museum's online ed talks. Thanks for watching.